nothing for you. Oh, step one, turn off music. Okay, let's see how I do this, guys. Welcome back to my channel. You're not going to see my face. You're just going to see my hands, hopefully. Yes. If I keep disappearing and this keeps happening, it's because I have my camera on a tripod and I want to occasionally look in the viewfinder and because it's angled down so I, you can see what's going on here, I might be disappearing and hands might be appearing and in and out and in and out. And that's my life. So, first things first. I am Renee Carlson, welcome back to my YouTube channel, and I did my palette collection a few weeks ago on here, if you haven't seen that, I only have a few video, blah, blah, videos up right now, so it's pretty easy to find, and my last video is a huge, huge international giveaway to kind of kick off my YouTube, which is actually going really well, uh, better than I anticipated. So thank you guys so much for the love and support. Thank you for entering, even though that's pretty self-explanatory. I feel like it's pretty easy to enter giveaways, and I mean, who doesn't want free makeup? I don't think I know anyone, even my mom. So anyways, moving on, I'm gonna stop rambling. Here are my hands, and here are my favorite palettes. So, I'm not gonna swatch like every shade of every palette because it's already mm, 9 p.m. and I'm gonna try to get some sleep tonight. So, let's just get started. I am going to just go in no particular order and show you guys my personal favorites. So I'm sure all of you guys know the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palettes. I have all of them, um, the Bon Bons, the original one, the Peach Palette, the Clover Palette, the Gold, but my tried and true favorite is, wow, I need to get better at this, you guys. It's a work in progress, okay? Deal with it. The semi-sweet chocolate bar, which is the second one in the series. And I just absolutely love the color selection. And I love how versatile the shades are. You have some cool tone shades, some warmer tone shades, lots of shimmers and mattes and it's just a great all-around palette and I love that pop of teal. It's so pigmented. Well, it doesn't look that pigmented on here, but I promise you guys it is. Let's see, this is actually my favorite shade, peanut butter. I mean, now there you can see some pig pigment. Wow. I did not put on my voice tonight. My words, I should say. So I love this palette. It is my favorite of the Too Faced ones. And we're going to get messy real quick. So let's move on to Laura. This, honestly, was one of my first eyeshadow palettes, you guys. So I feel like I had to throw it in here because some of these palettes are newer, but I always have used this and I still use it. It actually is in pretty good shape, minus the Shattered Mirror. The Thirsty palette is actually Shattered Mirror too. I think it's because I stepped on it. I'm pretty sure that that's it. So the Lorac 
Pro One palette. Just, again, a wide variety of shades. I love how you have the mattes on top and then the shimmers on the bottom. They're just amazing quality. I should have brought makeup wipes. I'm a rookie, you guys, at videos like this. Just bear with me. But that gold, I mean, can we just have a minute for the gold? Let's adjust my ring light too while we're at it because it looks like I have a huge bruise right there and it's just a shadow, not a bruise. Okay, so moving on, let's do a matte just so you guys can see. This is the shade Mauve. Just put that above there. And again, just a really nice mauve. Wow, the shadow. Just gorgeous. And it's so easy to blend. I highly recommend this one for anyone starting off in makeup just because of the texture of the shadows as well as the blendability and the pigment of this palette. Plus, I think think it's like I want to say it's 42 but don't quote me on that I could be a few dollars off because I did purchase mine years ago also I love it for smoky eyes especially the slate shade is just amazing as well as that black is a really good black and really good blacks are surprisingly hard to come by I found out recently after years of doing makeup so let's move on to a more recent palette the KKW X Mario palette just gorgeous I love that she did a pop of blue and holy shit you guys this blue is probably mmm I'm okay I'm gonna say it the most pigmented buttery blue I think that I have tried. So we will just take that and bam, you got blue. You can put this on all over, you'll look like a smurf, but it's just beautiful. And all the other shades are so pigmented as well, even the mattes. This is also kind of similar to peanut butter. Let's just put it right next to peanut butter so you can see. It's a little bit darker, but kind of close. Peanut butter is a little bit more orange and this shade that I have no idea what it's called. Um, Armenian. Nope, that's not it. It's Miami. I just can't read right. So, yeah. Oh, and this shade, I mean, it looks like just a standard bone type of shade, but it's perfect for setting your eyeshadow primer. Does really well at that. And this shade is like perfect for brow bone highlight or inner corner highlight. I just feel like even though there's only 10 shades, you can do so much with these shades and textures so I believe it's still available and I definitely recommend picking it up I'm gonna look like a smurf it's confirmed so I wish I had a makeup wipe but I don't and since I don't know how to edit very well we're just gonna keep on rolling and I'm gonna look like a smurf and that's just the way it's gonna be. So, the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. I love the packaging and the design of it. I love how they took pictures from all over the world and from travel and just integrated that with makeup. And I love the big, huge mirror. And it just, it feels sturdy. Even the Chocolate Bar Palette and the Lorac, the KKW, you know, they just don't feel sturdy like this. 
So I will say that about this palette specifically. I think that with the packaging, they just really did a good job of making the palette last. And then the shades, it's like you can do a rainbow look, you can do a neutral look, you can do a very basic everyday look. You've got some pops of color, every texture available. Of course, nothing really glittery, but you can always use the Urban Decay Heavy Metal, um, what are they called? I have them right in here. These guys, the glitter things, which I included in another video, but I know this is not eyeshadow, guys. Just, just bear with me. So you can always, these are great to put on top of shadow. They're not opaque enough to wear alone, at least in my opinion, but I do like very pigmented eyeshadows that are very full coverage, I guess you could say in the eyeshadow world, even though that kind of sounds strange because I'm used to saying that for foundation. Anyways, moving on. So you got mattes, you got shimmers, and the colors are just amazing. This big sky color down here just speaks to me with my broken nail. Just so gorgeous. I love the purples. I love the mattes. Still shot this nice kind of light coral shade is beautiful and so incredibly soft and pigmented. Really, really, really great palette. Good value for the money. I wish I knew the price. I'm gonna guess probably 50 55 this is all in US dollars by the way PS I'm in Seattle if you didn't know now you know all right so the Jeffree Star thirsty palette this is a newer palette so is the Urban Decay Born to Run I do have the Blood Sugar palette, which I love as well, but this one, yep, Broken Mirror, that's how you know that these palettes have been used, you guys, right? So you have mattes, and then the middle is this deliciousness of shimmers, and they're like these super, super, super pigmented glitters. They're just, they're insane. And one of the things that I love to do, and I'm sure I'm not the only one that does this. See, it doesn't, that's why swatches sometimes, I feel like they're great at showing colors and everything, but as far as wearability, Sometimes you can't tell on someone's wrist what a shadow is going to actually perform like on your eyelid. Just can't. So, I mean, you can tell on my finger it looks so, so pigmented. And when I put it on my arm, it just isn't as much. But, you guys, if you have the palette, you know what I mean. Let's just swatch this yellow because I know that it's crazy. I mean, look at that. Here, you can look like Big Bird. I'm gonna look like a Smurf murdered Big Bird. That's just great. The things I do for you guys, the things I do. Okay, so let's, let's talk about Natasha. Natasha Denona. I love her shadows. Are they expensive? Yes, but it's kind of like an investment in eyeshadow, if that's a thing. I'm going to make it a thing. The sunset palette is just what you would picture a sunset to look like. And if you live in Arizona, this is what sunsets look like. 
I live there and I'm moving back there, by the way. That's why I said that. Um, I just love the variety in here. I love that there's that yellow again. Yes, yellow is everything to me these days. I love warm tone looks. I think everyone does. But yellow seems to be like the color of 2018. Okay. <laughs> I mean, what is a girl supposed to do here? So I just want to show you a shade. Gosh, what a mess. Look, look at that. I mean, I didn't, I didn't do anything there. Well, I, I did a swatch, but I mean, I didn't apply anything. I just took my finger, swiped it in there, and this is what we get. You can't tell me that that's not amazing. So, right now, there is a Sephora sale on. I have the codes listed on my Instagram. Seattle MUA Renee is my Instagram. And... I would definitely recommend picking up a Natasha Denona palette and I want to say that they are expensive but you get what you pay for and the shadows themselves on the eyes last forever and I feel like the shadows like the size of the pan and the price per gram when you figure it all out it's actually not that bad. I'm not going to do the math because I don't do math. I do makeup. But if you can't afford one of the larger palettes, she does have some five pan palettes. I wish I had one easily available to me right now to show you, but I don't. But they are there. Just know that. And also, the Huda Beauty Obsessions palettes are amazing. I have all of them except the Emerald one, which I do have in my cart, aka store list for tomorrow. Hopefully I can get there because I have store credit, so I need to go in store to get it. Anyways, moving on. I wanted to show the Smoky Obsessions and We Are Missing Black. It came that way and I got a replacement, but I they let me keep this one and sent me a replacement and I put the replacement one in a old giveaway that I did a while ago when I got this. So that's why I... I chose to keep the one missing the black just because I feel like there's a lot of blacks out there. It's not a unique shade that I needed to have, so I gave away the new one. Um, wow. Okay, so my poor pants. Let's just take this shade up here. Just so beautiful. And I usually always use a MAC Fix Plus, or you can use just any setting spray you have handy, and it just makes these shadows, like any shimmers, really pop. But even the mattes are incredible, and I love this one because... A, you can do a really amazing smoky eye, and the shadows just perform amazing. They blend so well. It's hard to get my fingers in here. That's what she said. Um, yeah. With the shadow, it looks like a bruise, but I promise it's a really pigmented eyeshadow. So... These are amazing. I believe they're $27, and I travel with these as well, too. I'm to and fro Arizona, like, every month <laughs> this whole year. So I always bring, like, three of these, and I'm good. And they take up no room. They're just, they're just amazing. 
and I highly, highly, highly recommend those. And then the last palette I wanted to discuss, I needed to bring up an Anastasia palette. I do have all of her palettes and that is for the simple fact of they are amazing. Her formula and everything is just top notch and for the price point, really amazing. So this is the Soft Glam. I'm going to warn you, Sultry has taken a hit. So that is the Soft Glam. You just can do a lot with these shades. And um, Dusty Rose, I know, has been, I want to say it's in the modern renaissance, but most of these shades are unique, obviously, with the exception of the black, which isn't broken, so I can use this one. But let's do a little swatch of rose pink somewhere on my body. I'm going to start half to showing you more body parts if I continue. Just so beautiful. The way that it reflects is just such a beautiful and pretty unique shade. I don't think I have a lot of shades like that. And let's take a really deep, let's take Mulberry. And let's put it here. I mean, look at that. Just insane. They are a bit powdery. I'm not going to lie. There is fallout. But not like the subculture, which, yes, I know, there was a lot of drama revolved around that palette, but I I actually loved it, and for me, Fallout isn't a deal breaker if the shades are good quality and they're pigmented and blendable. I don't mind cleaning up Fallout or doing my eyeshadow first before I do my foundation. It's just not that big of a deal for me personally. So that I definitely recommend. I believe it's still available. So I do recommend any of her eyeshadow palettes. You really can't go wrong. The subculture and the um, Think, Renee, think. Modern Renaissance, they they both tend to be a little powdery with a little bit more fallout than the rest of them, but a lot of them are limited edition. Let me just put something in front of your face so I'm not just sitting here talking. I'll show you my arms. So, I'm going to end it here. I'm going to stop rambling. Hopefully this made for somewhat of an entertaining video for you guys to watch. I mean, if this isn't entertaining, I don't know what to tell you. So, I am going to go wash my whole... I'm going to probably take a shower because <laughs> I've wiped my arms and my hands just all over. I'm missing nails and... I'm just kind of a hot mess, but I wanted to get this video up for you guys. So, thank you for watching. I love you guys so much. And thank you for the support. Check out the giveaway, and I'll see you in my next video, which hopefully won't be a few weeks from now. Love you. Peace.